Hi beautifuls, welcome to Yildiz Readings 5D. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium. I cover astrology and everything else I cover is above on the screen. Now, we don't like long intros, so my contacts are directly below and how to book, what, where, why, how has been all left to the end. Those of you who have clicked the link, I do automate posts to keep you in the loop as when I'm coming live and where I'm going to be. So without further ado, let's get into the update and the real reason you're here. Enjoy. Grab a cuppa, sit back and relax. Love to hear your feedback. Hi, beautiful Gemini. We're here to do your romance read. I have pulled the cards. Now, this channeled energy that is coming through with you guys has been quite present for a while. And as a psychic medium, many times these energies can really be coming through in the signals and it can play out over the next three weeks. And it's, it's so heavy at the moment, Gemini. I do feel between you and this romantic interest, it's getting hot and heavy. And I was so drawn by this energy that I literally, for evidence-based energy, because I'm like, this is really perplexing. Your cards are, you know, spinning around. They're, they're really changing. There's a lot of nervousness coming through. And I can say that um, psychically, the sacral chakra is there, and it can be to do with healthy boundaries. And you're really getting to a point. You're like, okay, I'm trying to resist this. But, but this individual surrounding you, so many romance um, cards came out for you, which is um, this deck here, which has gorgeous imagery. I've forgotten the name of the deck. I'll have to find it. But it's got beautiful, you've got so many that came through and it's really relating to your romantic interest. Now, I do feel between the both of you, Yes, for some of you, there could be a third party. Yes, for some of you, you can be in communication with this individual, but the chemistry is hot and heavy. It's it's really quite strong. Um, you may be looking at this extremely logically, like, no, you know, that would never happen, and no, because of this and that. Um, your logic is there. You have gone, you know, you also are a spiritual healer. You're very, um, you're in your owl medicine. So you're looking at it responsibly and um, logically, but the sacral chakra in your connection is very activated at the minute. Some of you may be feeling because um, of the dynamic, you know, what, what would the potential be like? You know, how can this change if certain situations don't transform? So you are looking at it extremely logically, but I, I'm almost guided to the Selena Gomez song, the heart wants what the heart wants. And um, not all things in love and war make sense. And uh, this is one of those weeks I feel for you that <clears throat> things are getting hot and heavy. Um, I do feel you do need to look after your health, but you are, I feel you, you're pretty much looking at this pretty groundedly. It's almost like you're coming through like Saturn. It's like, no, that can't be, you know, really, really responsible. But the passion and the chemistry between the both of you is quite dangerous at the minute, I'll just say. I do feel, um, you know, something's not quite where you had wanted it to be. You have our medicine. You're wise beyond your years. You're being logical. Things haven't gone where they wanted to, but you're trying not to let things go anywhere they shouldn't. You're being adult, right? Now, in the heart of it, I, f I feel it's almost like a past life situation. Um, this turning point, this point of where you're at in this spiritual path feels like a turning point. Now, I'm also seeing <coughs> within power where you're standing. You feel, you know, it's almost logic. It's like, okay, should I move forward? Um... You also feel that this person's had plenty of time, right? Plenty of time. Some of you are feeling you need to move forward in a different direction. Um, some of you are reacting really differently uh, towards this individual um, and, and just point blank zero. So I feel you're being, you are protected, but the connection is very protected too. So if something was to go down in their life, uh, you know, you may be drawn to actually be there. And that can be in any shape or form. It could be a friendship. It could be um, spiritually. It could be verbally. Uh, but I also feel 
you want to have that in your life and if that person is giving to other people i feel you're looking at it like look no i know what i need this this is where i'm at i'm healing myself i'm being open and i do feel a lot are finding you very attractive at the minute now it's funny because the devil card for the air signs has come up twice and i, I don't feel I, i'm not getting a negative energy with this I do feel it's to do with paradigms. I do feel you're logically looking at things. I feel that you're looking at what you can do. Now, it's almost like you're trotting off in a different path, um, but this individual doesn't want that to happen. And there is chemistry coming out between the both of you. I do feel they're also trying to resist you. There is a lot of chemistry. I also feel in the past, you know, it was like really getting to a point that you felt... You needed to think bigger. Things needed to be looked at in order to have the success. I don't feel this person has closure with you. I don't feel they're ever going to. This is what they're showing me. A lack of closure with the connection and both parties are. You also may be saying to, again, I'm feeling that you guys are really trying to make this quite logical and the heart is not a logical place but it's, it's almost like look maybe it was just healing uh, maybe i just you know i haven't come to terms with it yet maybe it's some infatuation desire um but there's a lot here okay so you're going down the rabbit hole and yeah you know it's almost haunting you i do feel this person is really non-stop thinking about you and the temptation energy is extremely large you may have to decipher between what is your energy and what is another's but i do feel it's funny because this card was spinning on the table now initially it came out and i do feel this is the way it's going to play out is that it looks like it's a no it looks like it's a look this isn't going anywhere but this spun around and I feel this person spinning around and coming at you with no warning. <laughs> so I have said this the last few weeks. If it hasn't played out, it's so close because the channeled message keeps coming through. I do feel it's almost like they're spinning around and it can be they're coming at you and you, you, you may not... Um, you may not expect it. That's really what's coming through. There, it, it's impulse, okay? It's like out of nowhere. Um, and it's the natural organic way of being. It's like when something's there is to not micromanage it. And it's not to say I'm saying this is correct, but it's it's the way we operate sometimes. So it's a, a natural organic um, energy. It is chemistry. It's like um, the truth is coming out. <clears throat> And you're like, oh, how do I get, how do I get myself in this? I feel you're kind of looking at it like two's company, three's a crowd. But it feels like you're logically looking at it going, okay, how did I get, how did I get myself where I am right now? It's asking you at the moment to look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Uh... It may be due to the fact that you are looking at things logically that you may not see this coming. I'm just saying. It's going to surprise you. But I do feel it's almost like you're going down the rabbit hole of why, what, where, why, how. Um, because in the external, you're like, you never saw that coming, right? Right. The temptation, it's like, maybe they don't look at me this way. Maybe there's no chemistry. Maybe it's a one-sided transaction. The funny thing is, I have been saying this for weeks. Intimate union. I won't say the word out loud. I'll let you read it. It's close. Um, and sometimes we can feel guilt relating to that. Honor the place in one another where you are eternal souls. For there you will find your true bliss. And it's like, I think there's guilt. There's guilt relating to things. But there's also a lot of chemistry here. I also feel within this connection, after what goes down, I think you, you, you could go into a panic and a tangent. And it may be, what does this mean? What do we do from here? What, what is going to happen? And I, I feel a little bit of anxiousness 
come through, see the extension. We'll dig into more of what's coming through with your romantic interest. But I do feel they're really doing a 360 and, and it feels very quickly. It's almost going from pure imbalance to, you know, throwing caution to the wind and, and really stepping in towards you. And I do feel they're making a spiritual choice. Love and light. I'll either see you in the connection for the extension or I see you during the week for the Twin Flame updates. Thanks for joining Yilda's Readings. If you do need to find the link for the Members Hub, it is directly below in the information box or you can see above on the screen, it's on the main page. Now we have three tier levels. As well as on Fridays, we are live on the main platform. By clicking the bell, I automate posts for both the Members and the main page, plus any additional information I feel you need. The website is been updated and we do have a lot more content on it as well as new products coming in 2022. If you do want to join webinars we have the list as well as the launch of the Age of Aquarius with a VIP list. For all my other media content follow me live on the links below Facebook, YouTube, Instagram we all have it covered and we have more content coming. See you during the week.